Okay, so I thought I would revisit the solar power supply, and I thought this unit had power factor correction built into it, but I think I was mistaken. I don't believe they're doing any power factor correction whatsoever. So I've got my kilowatt plugged in here, and that does show power factor. The 115 is connected to amps, and I've got my dummy load set back in here. You probably can't see it. You can just barely see the heat sink of it right here, but anyhow, that's going to measure the amps output of the power supply, and this is going to measure the volts output of the power supply, the 117. So I've got this on 60 volts range. This is on a 10 amp scale. And so right now I've got no load on it whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this on. It's going to turn on the SOLA and the kilowatt. And we see we have 23.6 volts output right now. And we have 120.5 volts going into it and zero amps on the amp meter. So let's go ahead and turn on the first load. 1.93 amps, 23.5 volts coming out of it. The next one, 3.8 amps, 23.5 volts. The next one, 5.7 amps, 23.45 volts. And then the last one, 6.2 amps, but it dipped the voltage down to 19.2. So it's over the rated current handling of this power supply. Now I did connect the last resistor so we can even add more. 6.3 amps, but it pulls the voltage down to 15 volts. So it's definitely over current at that point. So let's go ahead and switch these all back off now. So we have zero amps flowing. We're at 23.6 volts output. And let's go ahead and get power factor up on this guy. There's the unloaded power factor, 0 0.29.30. Absolutely horrific. That is a terrible power factor. And so let's look at the, the VA is 8 VA and let's look at the watts 2.4 2.5 watts so that's a result of an absolutely terrible power factor so now let's turn on the first load so we have 1.9 amps and the watts went up to 54 watts let's look at the power factor now and the power factor went up to 0 0.63 0 0.64 but look at our VA now it's only 84 and our watts is 53. That's pretty close now. Ideally, we would want to see a power factor of 1. And then the watts in the VA would be identical. The item would be using as much power as is being delivered to it. And what power factor is, is whether the current leads or lags the voltage. They become out of phase. And so a power factor of 1 is absolutely perfect. The current is perfectly in phase with the voltage. So let's turn on the next load. 3.8 amps now. We're up to 105 watts and 161 VA. And our power factor now is 0.64. Seems pretty constant. Next load, 5.7 amps. Power factor went to 0.65 now. Our VA is now 240 and our watts is now 155. And let's overload this baby. So now we're overloaded. Watts, 136. VA 219, power factor 0.62, and severely overloaded, the power factor is dipped down to 0 0.60, 0 0.61, our VA is 191, the watts is now 117. Let's get it back into range. So the power supply is definitely folding back at that point. When I have what would be the equivalent of an 8 amp load on it, you can see the watts has dipped down to 116. Now that we're back to a 5.7 amp load, the voltage is constant, 23.4 volts, and the watts is up to 154, VA 247, and a power factor of 0.62. So unloaded, there we're totally unloaded now, the power factor dips down to 0.32, absolutely terrible. Even lower, 0.28 now, absolutely terrible. That's a horrific power factor on this thing, it's wasting a tremendous amount of energy. The difference between the real power and apparent power. So the real power right now is 2.4 watts, but the apparent power is 8 VA, which is absolutely horrendous. Anyhow, I thought you would enjoy this quick little video on, let's just see if this thing actually does have power factor correction. Obviously not. If this video has helped you, please consider making a donation to my YouTube homepage with the PayPal donate button or at paypal.me slash norcal715. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring that bell to get future notifications. Remember, with your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill and out of the recycle bin. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.